In this video, this will be a quick little video. Uh, I'm going to show you how to write KSP expressions for things other than silver iodide. So um, we, we looked at in the first video how to do uh, write an equilibrium expression for a simple one like silver chloride or silver iodide. Uh, I wanted to show you a couple of different examples of ones where we don't have one to one stoichiometry. So for example, like calcium fluoride, when calcium fluoride dissolves, we have to make sure that we take into consideration the stoichiometry. So uh, we're going to get calcium 2 plus aqueous plus 2F minus aqueous in solution. So in this case, when we write out the KSP expression for calcium fluoride, it's not going it, to, we're going to have to make sure that we take into consideration the fact that there's 2F minus. So in this case, what we're going to have for the KSP is we're going to have calcium 2 plus times the concentration of F minus squared. So we have to make sure that we take that 2 into consideration. So if we look at another more, a slightly more complicated one, like uh, uh, calcium phosphate, we have CA3PO42. So in this case, we're going to have um, the calcium 2 plus, and we're going to have actually three of those. So we have three calcium 2 plus plus two PO42 minus aqueous. So in this case, if we wanted to write the KSP expression, our calcium 2 plus is going to be cubed and our phosphate 3 minus is going to be squared. So you can write KSP expressions using things that you already know, but I just wanted to point this out that it's important with this to not get in the habit of just writing the ions and not thinking about that stoichiometry. You gotta make sure you think about when these things break up what the stoichiometry is gonna be.